Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply three-digit numbers by three-digit numbers. So let's get into our two examples here and find the product of each. And when I say product, that means the answer to a multiplication problem. So for number one, we have 819 times 237. So the first thing we need to do is line this problem up. So we have 819 times 237. Make sure you line up all your places. So the 9 and 7 are lined up because they are in the 1's place, the 1 and 3 because they are in the 10's, and then the 8 and 2 because they are in the 100's. Now we're ready to multiply. So what we're going to do, we're going to do 7 times 819, 30 times 819, and then 200 times 819, add all of those up, and that will give us our final answer. And I said 30 because that 3 in 237 is in the tens place, so it has a value of 30. And I said 200 because that 2 in 237 has a value of 200 because it's in the hundreds place. So let's start. And we start by doing um, 7 times 9, which is 63. So we put our 3 and carry the 6. Now we have 7 times 10, but we can just think of it as 7 times 1 and look at these as the basic digits. Now I said 10 because that 1 is in the tens place, so it has a value of 10. But let's just think of it as the digits themselves, like I said. So 7 times 1 is 7, plus 6 is 13. So we put our 3 and carry the 1. Now we have 7 times 800, but we can just think of it as 7 times 8, which is 56, plus that 1 is 57. So we put our 7, and we don't have any more digits to carry over to, so we drop our 5, and we get an answer of 5,733. We are done with the 7 here, the 6, and the 1. I like to cross things off as we go uh, when we are done with them. That way we don't get confused with any other numbers that are carried later in the problem. So now we move to the 30 that has a value of, or I'm sorry, we move to the 3 that has a value of 30. So we put a 0 here for our next step. And that represents that 30. It helps us represent the 30 rather than just saying it is um, a 3. So now we do 3 times 9, which is 27, carry our 2. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, and then 3 times 8 is 24. So we are done with this 3, and then the 2. So we moved the 2 in 237, which has a value of 200. It's in the hundreds place. So we need two zeros for this next number. Again, that's to represent the 200. So now we do 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus that 1 is 3. And then we have 2 times 8, which is 16. So now we can add all of these up. These are our partial products. So they are part of our final product or answer there. Add them up and we get our final answer. So 3 plus uh, a couple of zeros there is 3. 3 plus 7 is 10. Carry our 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 5 is 13. Plus 8 is 21. 2 plus 5 is 7. Plus 4 is 11. Plus 3 is 14. 1 plus 2 is 3. Plus 6 is 9. And then we end with a 1 here, and we get a final answer of 194,103. So on to number 2, and we can line up our problem. 338 times 193. So let's go through our steps, and we'll, we will go a little quicker um, as we work through number 2. 3 times 8 is 24. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So we are done, done, and done. We move to the 9, which has a value of 90, so we need a 0 here. 9 times 8 is 72. 
9 times 3 is 27, plus 7 is 34. 9 times 3 is 27, plus 3 is 30. So we are done here, done here, and done here. Now we have 100 times 338. So that 1 has a value of 100, so we need two zeros now. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 3 is 3. So we have our three partial products, and we are ready to add them up in order to get our final answer. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3. 0 plus 4 is 4, plus 8 is 12. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. And then we end with 3 plus 3, which is 6. So we get 65,234. So there you have it. There's how you multiply three-digit numbers by three-digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.